All right, guys, what's up? <clears throat> Stevie B here, Dynasty Life. Mock draft going on right now. 12 team uh, on sleeper. Two wide receiver, two running back, two flex, one QB. Just here with uh, a bunch of guys from uh, Instagram, some Instagram uh, pages, and just some uh, followers and people we have in a group chat. So. We usually do uh, some mock drafts every night. So here we are. Uh, it looks like I'm plugged into the 12th slot. So we got at 12 one turn, which I like. I, I mean, I could pick really from anywhere, but I prefer kind of that back end where you can kind of grab those two guys, you know, two top guys right away. Instead of, you know, like when you're picking in the uh, beginning of the draft where, you know, you don't get to pick again for a long time. So we shall see. But a bunch of RBs go off the board and then we got Cup, we got Jefferson. Cook. Eckler, let's see what's going to be cooking up for us here. I like Swift. Javante. Reese, ETN, or a couple guys I like. Chase and Diggs go off the board. CD's still there. Debo. Oh, man, I don't, damn. CD might be a smash here, and oh, Swift goes to Big Bola. Damn it, Bola. Okay, okay, Bola. Uh, let's do, man, Joe Mixon's just going to have so much opportunity. Last year finishes, yeah, I mean. 13 touchdowns, but he's, he's again, he's going to have that same opportunity. I do like Javante, though, better. Uh, so that's what's tough there, but that's all right. Let's go, um, let's go Mixon and let's go CD. Now, I could have went either way. I could have went Mixon or Javante. I just, I really like Javante. I mean, Javante is a guy that, even though had the split backfield last year, still led the NFL, uh, led the NFL in broken tackles last year, even splitting halftime with Melvin Gordon. Now this year they bring Melvin Gordon back, but I don't believe that it'll be 50, 50 again. They're already saying it's supposed to be like 70, 30, but, I don't know if I want to believe that right off the bat. It might be a little 50-50 right off the bat and then just right into a Javante workhorse. I mean, he's just too good to keep off the field. So we'll see how that goes. But Javante is a guy I really like um, that could win you a league this year. So and then they got Russell Wilson there now, so the offense is going to be better, you know, more opportunities, more chances to score. So... I felt like I had to take Lamb because for me, Lamb is kind of, you know, in that tier where he could be right under that. Cooper Cup, Jeff Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase. So I do like Lamb, but Mixon, I just, I just don't love. I mean, it's just pure volume and being able to score touchdowns. Because, you know, in the seasons prior, I mean, he's not running any different. He's still the same Joe Mixon. Nothing's changed. They just have a better offense. He's got more uh, scoring opportunities than moving the ball. So Aaron Jones goes, Saquon goes, I don't know. For me, that's just early for Saquon, the early second. Like, I'd rather take Javante there. I mean, and Saquon could do great. It's just, you know, now coming off the injury, it's just, I don't know what's going to happen. And then with just the Giants just sucking in general and having a shitty offense, I mean, 
let me know if y'all can see this good too i don't know if i could zoom it let me see if i can zoom this in a little more hang on it's cutting off it cuts off all right well that's the biggest i can make it that should be good enough chub devo goes man there's no way javante and breeze there goes javante all right up some guys not a great I like Terry McLaurin as a player I just don't know if Wentz is gonna bring out what needs to be brought out and I'm, I'm just queuing up a bunch of guys a lot of these guys some of them will be taken already Kamara, I'm not opposed to taking in that late third. Zeke, Connor, I don't know. I like Connor, but I'm just not a huge fan of going with Cam Makers. I don't like Montgomery. Definitely not. Especially with the r- reports now that um, he's on special teams now. So Khalil Herbert's going to be getting some carries too. Uh, and Herbert's good. I mean, he showed what he can do. So now, I guess with the new coaching staff, they want to um, split it up a little more. Josh Jacobs should be splitting a little bit as well. Elijah Mitchell, I like. AJ Dillon, Damian Harris, I'm not a fan of. Uh, with Stevenson there, just creeping behind. So Kamara goes. Tony Pollard, and what QBs? Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert. Even in one QB leagues, I, I don't know. I tend to like to have one of those top five QBs. It just makes me uh, feel a lot better. <laughs> but it it works. To, you know, it it just works for me. I like having one of those top guys, even in one QB leagues. I don't like to wait too long on uh, that QB. Uh, QB could take you long, take you a long way, especially one of those top guys. And speaking of which, Josh Allen goes right off. So let's see if if Herbert could fall to me. That'd be good. Or even Mahomes. AJ Brown, T. Higgins. We got a little ways to go. I don't know if I'll be able to get Higgins or AJ Brown. That would be like a That'll be sweet. That'll be a dream. Let's see. Zeke goes. Pittman. Come on. Oh, let's go. There goes Higgins. There goes ETN. Oh, Brees just gets picked. He doesn't make it back to me. Damn. I was hoping. I was hoping he could. So I'll probably wait just because the running backs that are left here, and it's just a little too it's just a little too early for me to take Elijah Mitchell, I think. I just don't know if he'll make it back. Um so I wouldn't be opposed to grabbing him. I'm not sure what I want to do. AJ Brown is still up here as well. So if he falls. See, Montgomery goes, so he goes heavy running back. I don't know if Herbert or Mahomes will make it back to me either. So this is tough. This is a tough call. So I'm going to take just what I feel like is the best players that are on the board here. So 
I'm going to take AJ Brown, and then I'm also going to go QB, and I'm going to take uh, Justin Herbert. So we've got Lamb, Brown, Herbert, and Mixon. And when we come back around, let's see who's still up here. Um, if Kittle's still there, Kittle's a guy that we can go with. I don't mind taking him at the end of the fifth there. So, like, I guess perfect uh, in a perfect world, the next two rounds I'd get Kittle or Elijah Mitchell and Kittle. I don't know if Elijah Mitchell will fall, but a lot of these, a lot of these guys have running backs already, so it's possible Elijah Mitchell does fall. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, AJ Dillon. See, that's where it kind of cuts off for me after Elijah Mitchell and AJ Dillon. I don't really like JK. I don't like Jacobs really this year. He'll be splitting carries possibly. Kyle Pitts goes, DJ Moore. Clyde, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, he's a guy that's just so tricky uh, to draft. He just can't stay healthy. He's got the opportunity and just cannot stay healthy. Waddle comes off the board and then Mahomes. So Herbert would definitely have not made it back to me. So I had to grab him there. So I'm happy I got Herbert, Brown, Lamb, Mixon. That's looking good. Let's see if we can solidify an RB2 or if we just go Kittle or Schultz and then go back to wide receiver and wait wait to go running back in those rounds after but let's see how it uh let's see how it all how it all unfolds here terry mclaurin goes Darren Waller. I like Kittle over Waller. I'm not taking Waller over Kittle. I'm just not. I just won't do it. All right, Mike Williams goes next. That would have been a nice little stack if I could have got Mikey Will, but there's no way he's making it back around. All right, Gibby goes. Let's see with uh, Rudy Fuamway goes. Deontay. I'm not a big fan of Deontay this year either. Just without Big Ben being there, I'm afraid. I'm just afraid. Deontay Johnson, great player, great route runner. Absolutely great uh, player and route runner, but uh, he was definitely hyper targeted by Big Ben. And now that Big Ben is not there anymore, I don't know if he sees the same amount of targets or gets force fed like he like he did. Kind of like Devontae Adams, how Aaron Rodgers just kind of force fed him. How Derek Carr is not going to just force feed him like Aaron Rodgers did. I mean, Devontae will still get his. Don't get me wrong, but he's not going to be force fed like he was you know, with Aaron Rodgers. So we got a runner receivers that go. Judy Sutton, Robinson, Metcalf. Elijah Mitchell still there. If I can grab Mitchell. I mean, it's a no-brainer I'm taking Mitchell if he's still there. If he falls. Let's see what happens. A couple guys need some running backs as well. So they might go RB. I don't, I don't know if Mitchell's going to make it back. Nope, Elijah Mitchell goes right there. Six picks before I get a chance to. Um, but A.J. Dillon, I like. Tony Pollard, I like as well. Uh, 
Uh, we'll probably go. And Kittle went. Kittle went at the end of the fourth too. So that that hurts. But I do love Schultz. I mean, Schultz finished uh, tight end three last year. So if Schultz falls, we're definitely taking Schultz. And then it's just a decision to make from there. Adam Thielen could be really good this year. Um, they're saying they're working with him in the red zone. He was already a red zone monster, and now they're kind of featuring him down there. They like what what they're seeing there. So, so right now I'm thinking AJ Dillon and oh Schultz goes right before snipe. Sniped. <laughs> Just gonna write in the comments. Uh, snipe shows for me. That hurts. That really hurts because I don't like Hawkinson. I'm not taking him there. So now that forces me to wait. Forces me to wait. So we're going to go AJ Dillon. Let's lock that up. And then we are also going to go Marquise Brown, uh, Thielen. That's a tough one because Thielen has such a chance to do well. Mar Marquise Brown, though, as well. Um, all right, let's go Marquise Brown. We're going to go Marquise Brown here. Thielen is a little bit older, has been hurt. So we're going to go with the upside of Marquise Brown, especially since no D hop. All right. Michael Thomas, Amari Cooper go next. They got to put this on like 30 second timer. It's taking way too long. I'm not a huge fan of the Dylan pick. I'm really not. Not that I don't think he's going to do well, but. So now, uh, Kenny Walker, Tony Pollard, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I'm just going to start uh, putting some guys in the queue that I like at RB, Rashard Penny. Hyder or Hilaire goes. How Walker is being drafted ahead of Penny when Penny's a starter, I don't know. Uh, obviously, Penny can't stay healthy, so the chances obviously are slim, so I can understand it from that point of view. But still, it's Rashad Penny's the guy that's going to get the ball. So unless he is injured, uh, I don't expect Kenny Walker to do much. For this year, at least. Kenny Walker is more of a dynasty move. More of a future play for the Seahawks. So there goes Hawkinson. James Cook, I don't mind. Stevenson, I really like this year. James White is still hurt. He's not out there. So Stevenson's the only like pass-catching guy they even got over there. And if something happens to Harris, I mean, it's Ramondre Stevenson's season. Tyler Algier, Damian Pierce, Isaiah Spiller I like. All right, those are just some wide receivers to tag up. Let's get some uh, running backs. I mean, let's get some wide receivers in there. I don't think any of these guys are going to fall. But if we can get D-Hop to go along with Marquise, that'd be cool. St. Brown, Thielen. Elijah Moore I really like this year, guys. Uh, he's been having a great cramp uh, camp. Chris Olave as well. Brandon Ayuk, another guy that's just been an absolute monster so far. Alan Lazard uh, can possibly be Aaron Rodgers' number one, as well as Romeo Dubes. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, if anybody else has been kind of caught up with what's going on with Green Bay, Romeo Dubes has just been... A monster has been named, made a name for himself. Aaron Rodgers even has been talking him up. So, 
Aaron Rodgers is talking you up as a rookie and throwing you in there with guys like Devontae Adams and Jordy Nelson. Uh, that's a good sign. And he's just straight burning guys um, on that practice field. So, all right, we got a couple guys queued up. Tight ends. Let's get a couple of these guys queued up. Not a huge fan of what's left at the tight end. I really wanted, uh, really wanted Kittle, but it was a long shot if he made it all the way back, uh, back to me. So Elijah Moore goes, Thielen goes. Not a huge fan of Gabe Davis uh, this year either, guys. I mean, he couldn't beat out a Cole Beasley. He couldn't beat out an old. Broken Emmanuel Sanders, um, and then he had what one good game, uh, that playoff game. So I don't know. I'm just I'm not all hyped up about Gabe Davis, like everyone else is. He has the opportunity, and it's there. So Isaiah McKenzie now is in the slot. Looks like he's winning that uh, that third wide receiver position there in the slot. And him and Josh Allen have had a great connection so far uh, in camp. So. That is one thing to keep an eye on uh, as well. All right. Uh, Kareem Hunt goes next. I mean, he wants a new contract. He's sitting out. We know we've got Watson gone for at least six games and possibly more. So I'm kind of staying away from Hunt, I think, a little bit. I don't know. You know, it could be good, could be bad. You know, it could be. They're just losing and they're down, so Hunt is on the field a lot. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, there goes Gabe Davis, as we were just talking about. Let's just check out some of these teams so far. Henry, Kamara, Josh Allen, Jacobs, Judy, Harris, Sanders. Now, why? A lot of RBs there. JT, Tyreek Hill, Connor, Kittle, Sutton, Bateman, Moore. Okay. Not bad. I like that. And don't love the Connor pick, but not bad. Not bad at all. McCaffrey, Fordette, Allen, Deontay, Allen Robinson, Hawkinson, Thielen. It's a good squad. Harris, Javante. Get Harris and Javante. It's just. That's just sickening. It just hurts my heart. Um, and then, no, why are you taking Michael Pittman so early? Over T. Higgins? Over A.J. Brown? No, no, I'm not taking Pittman over them. I'm not doing that. But, okay, Metcalf, Hurts, and St. Brown. Not bad. All right, we're about to be up. We'll get back to that. I'm looking at these other teams in eight minutes. But let's see, James Cook and Stevenson are still there. We are going to need an RB. We still need a tight end as well. I just, I'm really liking Brandon Ayuk this year. Even though they got Debo, even though they're going to run the ball a lot with Trey Lance, yes. So RB... And I don't know what to do here. Kind of in a little bind. We should probably take James Cook. Let's take a running back just so we have a third guy there. We're going to take James Cook. And then we're also going to take... Go with either Olave or... Olave or Ayuk here. Or we can go tight end. Knox or Ertz or Goder, but I just feel like Olave and Ayuk is just a better, better play. So let's go with Ayuk. I like him a little bit better. He's a little more polished than uh, been in the league. So all right, let's go with Ayuk there. Let's see what happens um, here. Let's see what else we got up here. Cup, Debo, Zeke. Mike Williams, Dobbins, Murray, Hunt. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I like that. Not too shabby. 
Jefferson, Chubb, Etienne, Waller, Mitchell. I like Etienne. I like Mitchell. Okay. Cook, Jones, Andrews, McLaurin, Cooks, Godwin, Hop, D Hop. I mean, nothing is really jumping out as a squad that's just going to destroy everyone else. I mean, it's just they're overall just kind of good, decent squads all kind of just bundled together. Uh, let's see. Eckler, Evans, Higgins, Mahomes, Juju, Clyde, and Penny. That's not bad. That's probably one of the better ones that I've seen so far. Chase, Kelsey, Brees, Jalen Waddle, Lamar, Mooney, Pollard, Singletary. I like that. Drew Barr, 88. I like that. Diggs, Adams, Akers, Pitts, Burrow, Coop, Kenny Walker, Chase Edmonds. Okay. I like that too. I'm not a fan of Akers though. And we don't know when Kenny Walker's ever going to play. And Miami has about 97 running backs. So we don't know who's getting the ball there either. Uh, big bowler, Swift, Barkley, Montgomery. Like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of Montgomery. DJ Moore, Schultz, Thomas, Burks, Kirk. I don't necessarily love that bowler. Um, I think it's just too much RBs. Barkley is just early for me in that early second. It's just a little too early. I would have probably liked another wide receiver, but to each their own. You've got Michael Thomas will have to fit in as your wide receiver, too. And Burks or Kirk to fill in with three. DJ Moore could bomb and go off. So or he could bomb and not go off. <laughs> but, um, I mean, Baker still hasn't locked in that damn starting QB position. I mean, he is the better QB, at least I think. I think most people would agree with that. So, Baker's had a couple good practices, but he just hasn't been consistently great, and he hasn't blown away anybody. So, he hasn't ran away with the starting QB position. But it would be DJ Moore's best QB that he's had so far in his career. I mean, the last three years, over 1,150 yards with just garbage QBs. So... I am uh, I'm very excited about DJ Moore. We'll see what happens this year. Hopefully uh, they continue to just give him the ball. I mean, he's getting, what, 9, 10 targets a game. I mean, 162 targets, if I'm not mistaken, he had last year. So, all right, Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson goes off. Uh, Mixon, Lamb, Brown. Herbert, Dylan, Marquise Brown, Ayuk, Cook. I like what we have. I think we have, you always probably think your squad is the best, but I think I legit have one of the better squads here. Who's the other one I said I like? This one here, the Eckler, Penny Patterson with Evans, Higgins, Mahomes, and Juju. I like this team, Team 8, and also Drew, uh, Drew Bar, 88. I like that team as well with Chase, Kelsey, Brees, Waddle, Mooney, Lamar. Yep, Allard, Singletary, that's good. It's a good uh, weight on RB strategy. Um, not necessarily a no RB strategy, picking up an RB in the third, but picking up a guy that's got some good upside. But uh, top QB, top tight end, top wide receiver. Some other wide receivers can make a splash. You've got a possible top 10 running back in the hole. Pollard could creep his way up there. He's seeing uh, stuff out of the slot now. And, man, if Zeke gets hurt, that's just Pollard's taking off. But Brady goes. We still need tight ends, guys. Godert goes. So we're probably going to pick up some tight ends here. Probably going to pick up some tight. I don't mind. Knox. Let's see if we could get our hands on Dawson Knox. And then we can pick up a kind of late flyer later on for tight ends. So let's go. We got Knox up here already. And then we've got a couple more RB Spiller, Algier. I think I like Algier there. We've got four wide receivers, so. Let's 
Oh yeah, I think we'll see if it works out for me. I can find it right here. Only two other guys don't have a tight end, so I think I'm gonna take Knox here and then Sky Moore. Knox and Sky Moore or Knox and nah, maybe I'll take Algier. I like Algier better than everyone else up here. He actually has a shot at starting. Daryl Henderson as well, I like. Uh even coach said today he's got two, you know, two good running backs, so they might be uh splitting more than we thought. Ronald Jones goes. See what the latest on Ronald Jones is. Not a lock to make the yeah, that's still an old one. I don't necessarily believe all that noise. Let's go with Tyler Algier. And let's go with Dawson Knox. Let's lock those in. So we let's see what we got here. Herbert Mixon Dylan. CD, AJ Brown, Dole Knox, Marquise Brown, James Cook, and then we've got Brandon Ayuk and Tyler Algier on the bench there. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Stafford, Claypool. So I like I like what we got here so far. And, you know, most of the time I cut these mock drafts short just because I don't, don't want to sit here, you know, for an hour waiting for everybody to pick for just some of the last, you know, bench spots at the end. So I'm like, I'm okay with actually getting out of this, getting out of this draft here and just taking what I have for right now. But I like the squad. Herbert, Mixon, Dylan, CD, AJ Brown, Dawson. Yep. We're looking good, and I still think we have the best team at everything on here. So, but yeah, let me put this on. Um, let me put this on auto, and let me exit out of this. But uh, that's gonna be it for this draft tonight. Tell me what you guys think about the picks um, that I made here. If you disagree with anything, or would take someone else. Um, or whether you have a you know you have a different mindset than when I had uh, going in, but again going into the draft, do not just have something set as far as a strategy of what you want to do. You can't. You have to see how things fall. Okay. But uh, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow. Um, we will do another draft tomorrow. I'm with these guys pretty much uh, every night doing drafts. So uh, we'll see y'all on the next uh, next one.